Welcome to everybody. We are going to talk about the Interveg research project. This uh, project has been uh, funded in the frame of the Core Organic 2 Aeronet and uh, is aimed to verify the hypothesis that the introduction and the proper management of living mulch in a vegetable cropping system, organically managed, can allow to obtain a similar yield and a similar quality than uh, the sole uh, cropping system. And uh, introducing at the same time uh, relevant uh, ecological services uh, that can contribute to increase the sustainability of these uh, vegetable cropping systems. Um, we are carried out our, our activities uh, in uh, the last three years uh, in um, different countries, different uh, core organic countries in uh, Central and in Mediterranean uh, Europe, involving uh, uh, many scientists and uh, farmers. In our study we have evaluated the advantages and disadvantages of the introduction of the living mulch in the cropping uh, system. So we have taken into account uh, the effect of this uh, novel technique on uh, pest beneficial interactions, on uh, weed control, on nutrient management, on uh, not renewable energy consumption. Our interest uh, was to evaluate the cropping system as a whole. We are convinced that research in agriculture can no longer be the exclusive domain of scientists and academic experts. In order to find sustainable solutions to the current agricultural challenges, a wide range of actors must be involved. Participatory research offers such an inclusive model, which we successfully experimented in the framework of Intervec project. Our approach was to involve farmers as leading actors since the beginning of the project, and to make them aware of their important role in the implementation of research activities. Pilot farms played a crucial role as demonstration spots of innovations in practice and as multipliers for the dissemination of new approaches among the farming community. So in the INSEVEC project we are working with uh, how we can use a living mulch to uh, put it into the cropping system of vegetables and we've worked with the cauliflower and with leek and with artichoke. Uh, and here in Denmark we've worked with the cauliflower and the leek and the idea is of course that these crops are very nitrogen demanding and they need a lot of nitrogen to get a good quality at harvest. But this also means that at harvest they may leave a lot of nitrate in the soil. And this nitrogen, this nitrate may be leached when we get an autumn and a winter with a lot of precipitation. And it may end up uh, in lakes and streams or it may end up in the drinking water. And we don't want that, of course. So the idea was to grow the living mulch in rows between the cauliflower and to see if, uh, if it stayed after harvest, if it could take up some of this uh, excess nitrogen. And it turned out that the living mulch have some potential to take up the nitrogen and to reduce the, the leaching of the nitrate. Um, but it also turned out that it depends a lot on the management of the living mulch. So if, for example, we grow the living mulch in a row uh, instead of a row of cauliflower, uh, so we kind of replace a row of cauliflower uh, in every third row, for example, in the field, well then the potential may not be that big because uh, uh, the overall capacity to take up nitrogen of the, of the plants does not really increase. Whereas if we insert the living mulch between the rows of the cauliflower, we get an extra capacity for nitrogen uptake also after harvest. Uh, and also the, um, 
the sowing date of the living mulch turned out to be important. The earlier it's sown, the more it can grow and the higher capacity it has to take up uh, nitrogen after harvest of the cauliflower. Uh, so these were very interesting results and uh, uh, we think there's, there's some potential in, in, uh, in these aspects. Cost and energy consumption have an important role when assessing an agroecological practice. They strongly influence the farmer's decision in applying a specific technique for both economic and environmental reasons. Um, living mulch is, of, is often considered by the farmer as a costly technique. We found out that there is a range uh, between uh, plus 22 to minus 2% in cost difference between soil crop and living mulch. And concerning energy consumption, we found out that the difference range from uh, plus 14 to minus 4%. What's more interesting in our research is that we found out a change in proportion between human labor and fossil fuel use in the, in the shift from soil crop to living mulch in all four different European countries. These results should be taken into consideration when we assess a specific technique together with yields, depending on the specific, specific social context in which the technique is applied. Biodiversity and complexity are considered to be essential for the stability of the ecosystems. Biodiversity is associated with ecosystem services in the farm, like for example biological control against pests. In this frame, crop diversification and uh, the reduction of the intensification are considered agricultural strategies very important uh, to manage the insect population. Several studies demonstrated that living mulch and intercropping can have a positive impact on pest and weed control. During the project experiment, a very strong regulatory capacity of the organic farm has been detected in all the involved countries. Biological control against pests, for example, uh, parasitization against cabbage caterpillar, was very intensive. In details, living mulch showed to increase beneficial population like uh, spider, roof beetle and uh, ground beetle. In general, in living mulch, soil arthropod showed higher biodiversity indices in comparison with uh, the soil crop system. Integrating uh, cover crops uh, into vegetable cropping system can provide a wide range of ecological services, of which uh, with management is a key component. Indeed, uh, since uh, cover crops are an important link uh, among soils, uh, crops, uh, uh, pests uh, and uh, weeds, uh, they can contribute to create uh, an um, uh, unfavorable environment uh, for weeds, uh, ensuring uh, uh, biodiversity and uh, uh, soil protection. In particular, uh, the living mulch uh, fill uh, the ecological niches uh, otherwise occupied by, uh, by weeds, uh, usurping uh, resources and uh, showing a, a smoothering effect on, um, on them. Ohranjanje in dvik dobitnosti tal sta temel za uspešno ekološko pridelavo zelenjale. Uporaba bele detelje kot pokrivljena poselka se je v poskusih v Sloveniji izkazala kot primeren način tako za varovanje poselkov pred pleveli, kot tudi za izboljševanje rodovitnosti tal na podlagi rezultatov v projektu Intervek lahko svetujemo pridelovalcem nove tehnologije in izboljšave le teh tudi v pridelovalni praksi. The results that uh, we have obtained in the Interveg uh, project demonstrate that uh, uh, the introduction and the proper management of uh, living mulch does not uh, determine uh, yield reduction and the reduce of the quality of uh, vegetable products. Um, at the same time, uh, we are now aware that uh, the living mulch has a strong potential in terms of uh, enhancement of ecological functions of the agro-ecosystems. 
Farmers who are uh, interested in introducing the living mulch technique, the living mulch practice in their own farms, uh, have to primarily select uh, the ecological functions uh, they are interested in, for example with control or uh, reducing of nitrogen uh, leaching risk and uh, accordingly identify which is the best options that uh, uh, we have tested uh, within the Interveg projects in our experiments. Um, it, is, it is, is not a simple exercise, but uh, thanks to the experience we have made within the project, now uh, we are able to help those farmers uh, to give them guidance and uh, then uh, give them help for their decisions. The Lenyov is a project of Bele Detelje, a project of the Novost, and we are very happy with the time and the experience that we have achieved, that it is possible to do it in the Lenyov dati za stirko belo detaljo. Glede tega je boljše se prikazalo v, v primeru cvetače, ko lahko se dejansko priprave setev po treh tednih po presajanju, do čim v poru pa je mogoče manj interesantno zaradi tega, ker je detalja dost bistveno raste hitreje, ko pa por in je dejansko prerasla skoraj e, površino pora. E, prihodnje nameravamo te situacije e, prakticirati naprej, mogoče z, z kakšnimi izboljšavami, ker v, v finančnem smislu je bela detelja dosti cenejša od e, recimo črne folije. Frank, kannst du dir vorstellen, in der Zukunft selber in einigen deiner Feldgemüsearten einen solchen Lehmbulch mit einzubringen? Nein, ich kann mir das eigentlich nicht vorstellen, weil ähm, wir das Lehmbulch äh, spät in die Kultur bringen müssen und es dann für die Kultur nichts mehr bringt. Äh, und wir müssen es so spät äh, in die Kultur bringen, weil wir die Beikrautregulierung äh, machen müssen und das äh, bis fast Ende der Kultur passieren muss. Die andere Seite ist die, dass, dass es, wenn man zu spät einsieht, keine Nützlinge mehr kommen. Im Getreidebau setzen wir das ein, aber da sind die Voraussetzungen ganz anders. Ja, vielen Dank. Del Living March ne penso che sia una tecnica molto interessante in quanto se usiamo l'erba medica come, come coltura di copertura rilascia sia fertilità al suolo e in più quando viene tolta la coltura il terreno viene lavorato in maniera eh, migliore. Yuri, introdurresti il Living March nella tua azienda? Sì, lo introdurrei su determinate colture, ad esempio sul cavolfiore abbiamo riscontrato con la medica che abbiamo avuto un buon contenimento delle erbe infestanti e gli stessi risultati sulla produzione rispetto al testimone. Invece sul carciofo abbiamo riscontrato diciamo, il mancato contenimento degli infestanti in quanto il ciclo era diverso rispetto alla, alla, alla coltura usata. Men i, i porerne mangler der noget teknik, sådan at den, den her mellemafgrøde ikke driller os for meget, når vi skal gøre rent og når vi skal tage porerne op. Så øh, det er i hvert fald noget, der skal løses i fremtiden, men ellers ser jeg meget, meget positivt på, at øh, man bruger forskellige former for mellemafgrøder i, øh, i øh, bekæmpelsen af skadegører. I virkeligheden er jeg slet ikke i tvivl om, når vi snakker økologi og økolog, er økologisk styrkning, så handler det om at finde så mange indsatsområder som overhovedet muligt. Nogle giver måske en 5% effekt, nogle giver 10, nogle giver 15, nogle giver måske helt op til 50% effekt, som blomsterbælterne med, med lusene. Men det handler om at bruge alle de der parametre, vi nu kan, vi nu kan anvende i bekæmpelse af de her skadegører. Så øh, jeg... Jeg, jeg, jeg tror på, at der er mange muligheder den vej i virkeligheden. 
Og det er jo noget af det, der gør det spændende for os som landmænd at arbejde med den her biologiske viden øh, og få den indarbejdet også i vores systemer.